welcome back to Death at Cape Porto, a Dana Nightstone novel. In this video, I will go through the final chapter of the game. I had finally gathered enough clues to now head to the scene of the crime. In her journal, Gabriella left clues about her real murderer. And I promised Gabriella Montez that I wouldn't disappoint her. Oh hey, it's our buddy the policeman. The lighthouse? It has been abandoned since the rumors started about it being haunted. Are you taking a night stroll? A beautiful night, isn't it? Boy Noit! I wish I could send a gift to Amelia in return for the tart she made. Delicious! But all the flower shops are closed at this time. Where can I find some flowers? Hmm, sounds like we need to find him some flowers. We have a loose stone and a fan. So what we want to do here is go over to the lighthouse. Oh hey, a trowel! Hey, lady! Don't try to sneak around my boat. Whoa, whoa, uh-oh, 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 this guy is mad. What do you want? All the fishes are gone now. I haven't caught any fish. Only a, a useless tin can. Mm, tin can, eh? I'll take that can. Let's see. How am I going to get that uh, stick out of the way? There's a row. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh well. Let's use a hint. Right, here's what I'm missing. So you see this thing right next to the policeman? Let's take stuff from it. The policeman doesn't care about us robbing things right next to him. Okay, so that gives us a box cutter which we can use to get the stick. Seriously though, policeman, we were right next to you. How did you not notice? Move the stone away with the stick. Use the trowel to dig in the dirt. And uh, let's capture these worms in a tin can for the fisherman. Here you go, Mr. Fisherman. Whoa, this is for me? Well, thank you, lady. I I'm sorry for being rude earlier. Yes, I, I can lend you my boat, but the boat propeller is broken. You, you'll have to use this paddle. Okay, so the propeller is broken. I will definitely succeed this time. I will only go home after I've caught some fish. This is going to be a puzzle. We need to fix the propeller. For now, let's paddle to the lighthouse. Boat gently cross the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Cool, so we're here. Sturdy picture, oil can, Ooh, flowers, cut them with the box cutter. The policeman needed flowers. And this is the propeller. We need a wrench before we can get rid of it. This is missing a piece, and uh, we need to find a way to break the wood there. So let's see, donut, donut, apple, wrench, great, we need that for the propeller. We have a rubber ducky underneath the hat. Let's see, matches on the candle to get a lit candle. We have a ball, we have a pencil, we have a heart. What else? We put the cover here, and then the bulb there to get the lamp. We need the scissors on the fish to get the number three. We need the keys here to get the playing card. And the bottle is somewhere. Right there. Wait, that's a bottle? Weird looking bottle. Okay, so we have the wrench. Can I use the paddle to break this? 
Well, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, okay, well, we need to fix... We need to fix the uh, propeller first. Hey, lady, you're back. I'm going home to rest now. Thanks to you, I've got plenty of fish. Ciao. Ciao. See you later, dude. See you later. Okay, so... This is going to be the replacement propeller. Oh yeah, police man! Flowers! Lindo, marveloso! These are beautiful flowers. I wonder if there's a better way to present them. Oh, oh, oh well, you can get a fancy vase yourself, Mr. Policeman, can't you? Fine, I'll get you a vase. In the meantime, hidden objects challenge. A hat, a crab, a starfish and seashells. Ooh, a boot. Two boots. Put the fish food there to get the fish. Let's see, we have a boat, we have a stool, a pocket watch, a net. That's some coral. Where is that net? Oh, it's one of these nets. The little tiny net. I, I thought I was I thought it was one of those big nets that you use to pull up fish. Not one of those handheld nets. Okay, so paddle over to this area. Use the wrench, use the wrench. Come on, Dana, you can do this. Use the wrench. Take the propeller, put the other propeller on, use the wrench to tighten it. Great, and now we can break the paddle. And you want to use the glow stick to get inside the lighthouse. So, Ghost Man, how's it going? This is Silvio. He wants us to go upstairs? We need the stool here so we can reach this. What's that? Looks like evidence. I mean, a bloody cloth at, at the scene of the murder. That's got to be evidence. Uh, what's this? We need to build a telescope. Use the box cutter here. Silvio, my love, can you ever find it in your heart to forgive me? The happiest day of my life was when you asked me to marry you. But after your warehouse burned down, you disappeared. I never heard from you again. They told me you were dead. On that day, I died too. I only married Joel because my father wished it. And then you came back. Oh, Silvio, forgive me. I miss you terribly. I will always love you. Yours, Gabriella. So, Silvio and Gabriella were deeply in love with each other. I right use the metal card here for this thing and uh, we need a handle for the blade so this is clearly the top of the crest now we can go inside here ah oh, there's Silvio he has this machine um it's missing a part it's missing a part we cannot use the machine it's missing a part we have bats here so we can't use that but we can do this a matching challenge Okay, so the camera goes with the stand, sock goes with the shoe, phone goes with the receiver. Some of these things uh, we can move, so we pull on that to move that crate. Painting goes there, open the tops of those boxes, open the side of this box. Okay, we need to tie up that crate with the rope and then use the pulley. And that should be everything, right? Rose there. Diamond heart, spade and club. Money in a piggy bank. Measurer and a ruler. Nuts and a nutcracker. Paint in a paint roller. Baseball and baseball glove. Teapot and teacup. And we got measuring tape, which is good. We, we need that. So what can we do now? Wow, we can do things at three different places. In this place, we can put the bucket here. Fill it with water and clean off the dirty handkerchief to get a damp cloth. Where else are we going? Here we can do 
Nothing! Okay, we can't do anything here. Never mind. We're going back here. Oh, hey, a collectible. So let's see. Measuring tape goes there. Hmm, we want to put it in the vise, but the vise is kind of nasty and um, not clean. And what is this? The murder of Gabriella. Ooh, time to go back into the past. So, this is Gabriella's murder. We need to solve puzzles here. This is a simple puzzle. Pick up all of the pieces. And we need to use them to solve the code. So you want to get corresponding symbols. So, for example, anchor goes with the uh, thingy, the steering wheel. A tree goes with a leaf. Foot goes with a hand. Umbrella goes with a rainstorm. This one in the middle is a key. A fly goes with a frog. Bicycle goes with the car. And a feather goes with the jar of ink. You know this one is a key because it's the only one left over after you get everything else into place. And that's your solution. Hidden objects challenge. Okay, this thing. Number five. Fleur de lis. Magnet. Ring. Star. Butterfly. Lock. Easel. Pocket watch. Binoculars. And scissors, 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 scissors. Let's let's use a hint. Scissors. Right. Scissors, not actually inside that thing. Okay. We have matches. Gabriella? I guess she's already dead at this point in time. Okay, well- Oh! Another hidden objects challenge? Two in a row? Ooh, that's craziness. Crown, soda tab, um... Whatever that thing is. The letter S. A bat. A croissant. A star, and the letter A. Not sure why we're doing this in the past, but hey, lantern goes here, matches go here. And what's this? This handkerchief might have belonged to the murderer. Could it possibly still be here? Yes, Dana, it's right here. You saw that earlier. Dana, were you not paying attention? Huh. So the murderer didn't get rid of the bloody handkerchief at the scene of the crime. Not a very good murderer. Really, you think the murderer would have done a better job of covering his or her tracks? What's this? Ah, an easily missed oil can. As well as some glue, this will open up a couple of puzzles. Oil goes over here. Glue will fix up that vase. Oil can will oil that. And looks like we have steps one and two finished. Step three is to saw this thing to make the telescope. But first, let's get the wildflowers to Mr. Policeman. Wow, you, you took the trouble to get this for me? Muito obrigado. I don't have anything to show my gratitude, but... Uh, here, please take this. Uh, you can blow the whistle if you're in danger. Thank you so much. I am in your debt. Enjoy the night. Boa noite. Thank you very much, Mr. Policeman. Wow, you, you took... The Thank you so... Okay, he doesn't have anything else to say. So we are going to use the whistle to get rid of the bats. Which gives us the handle, which is inside this bag. Okay. Inside the bag. Right. Makes sense. No, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Why is it inside a, a, a doctor's bag? That's ridiculous. Okay, okay, okay. Use the saw there. And use the saw here. Looks like we still need a lens, right? We still need a lens and something to glue it. Hmm. This here, so we can climb upstairs. 
This lets us get some putty. Look up from the dock, the stars remember. Oh, a puzzle. Okay, clearly we have a star puzzle. Lens there. Lens there, Dana. It, it goes there. Dana! Okay. Putty first, then lens. Dana, you are being so picky right now. Seriously, I can't handle this. We're trying to solve a murder mystery here, Dana. You're gonna have to give a little. Okay, so, we want to create the constellation. So the constellation is going to look like this. Okay, red and green is the final one. It doesn't have to be exact, but they all have to be facing that direction. Maybe not that direction, maybe even uh, a little upwards, I think, because my picture didn't exactly look like the clue. The clue being this. want to finish this. It is a jigsaw puzzle. No, 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 no. And then... Here we go. That star goes there. Those larger stars go there. And that uh, little collection of stars goes there. Okay, we have the lever. And now we go back to the other area. So remember this machine which is missing parts? It's missing part. Just a lever. Okay. And that's where you hide matches because that makes- Ah! Bats! Bats! Those bats just attacked me! Ugh. Ugh. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me, let me take a look here. We've got light coming from the lighthouse now. And now there's no light coming from the lighthouse? Weird. Well, oil goes here. Clean this off with the cloth. Set the thing on fire and then pump it. Now it's full of light. Now we have light in the lighthouse. We also have this thing. A, a metal rod. Whoa, Silvio! How's it going, buddy? Who is Gabriella's murderer? We are going to find out. The murderer is... Da, 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 da. Monica. So Monica is the one who killed Gabriella and then framed Silvio. That's because Monica wanted to marry Joel Aldama. Did he know about it? I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. So, um, Joel, I gave you the evidence. Dude. Dude, I gave you the evidence? Did, did he not notice I gave him the evidence? What did I do wrong? Oh my gosh, everybody. I somehow activated a glitch where I finished the game and the game didn't end. Okay, I am quitting the game and then restarting. Hopefully that will fix whatever problem I ran into. The truth had finally set them free. Free from pain, free from judgment. Two souls that had found forgiveness. Two souls now at peace. Now, free to love each other again. Aww, that's nice. So that is it, everybody. That is the end of Death at Cape Porto, a Dana Nightstone novel. I am surprised I had that random problem where the ending didn't play for whatever reason. Uh, I hope you like this game. In the next video, I will go through the epilogue of this game. I haven't played the epilogue yet, I understand it has something to do with the Montez family, so you can look forward to that. 
I am expecting that Richard Aldama will make a reappearance because he was sort of one of the main characters of this game and he didn't appear at the ending. Nice music. So these are the ending credits. Most of the people who made the game. Hmm, I don't remember this particular piece of artwork in the game. When was Gabriella reaching for him? And I think that's it. That's it. That is officially the end of Death at Cape Porto, a Dana Nightstone novel. Thank you for playing, and thank you for watching my video walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed it.